When I do tech against the Akia, yep. You probably have... Uh, when do you tech? Oh, uh, I don't have a VOD, but this is the easiest way to do it. Uh, where's PC on? Yeah. Do you have a YouTube where you explain the options? I don't have that yet. So, God, I guess I have to do that. Alright, uh... Alright, so you see how when you get counter hit in the air? Ow. Or, yeah, I get counter hit in the air? I can tech, right? So, the main thing in this game is when you're counter hit in the air or you're popped up on the ground. It's like, let's say I'm on the ground right now, right? And I get counter hit like that. I can still tech either direction. Why don't you have every video title made already? Because I'm fucking lazy, Curly. My ingenuity only goes so far. Uh. What's it called? Um, right, but when you tech, when you tech, you're like, all right, what's gonna happen here? So when you tech, or when you have the option to tech, the best thing to do is to look at the screen when you want to tech, right? So you can see my cursor. Okay. So I've hit the ground. I don't think I can tech anymore, but assume I can actually tech from this position. So I could either go forward, neutral. I tap up. You tap forward. You tap up, or you tap back. So, when you want to tech, the best thing to do is look at the opponent. Okay, PCL's up here. She jumped. She has one more jump left, and she has an air dash. If I neutral tech, she can just land and get a meaty on me. That's whatever. I don't get punished for teching. If I want to create space, I'll go backwards. Because I want to get space and she can't catch me that quickly. Like, me personally, I know she cannot hit me from here when I tech when she lands from the ground. I, I tech backwards, I'm safe. I can get space, I can figure out how to approach again. If, let's say there's like five seconds left on the clock and the life lead is close and I need to hit her, you will tech forward. Why? Because you're closest to her when you tech forward. And you hope that by the time she lands, she cannot swing on you after you recover. So you tech forward, you recover, and you try to swing immediately. So there are different situations for why you would tech. Back, up, neutral, forward. They all have the different uses. And it also, like, again, it depends on what character you're fighting and where on the screen they are. So here, neutral and back are pretty good options. Neutral is the fastest recovery. You tap up, you neutral tech. And if you see her, like, falling down, you can, like, run in and take your turn. If you're like, fuck, I want to get space, you tech backwards. Or if you're like, fuck, I'm trying to get in the ass, you tech forwards. But the thing to remember is that... <sighs> We both neutral tech. Oh, I would have to set it to down recovery. Is it random? It's random one. Okay. Random one, dummy settings. No, oh, enemy settings, all guard. All right. So I had, I now have it set to if the dummy techs, it should be able to block if I don't meet it correctly. If I don't hit the tech correctly. See? Tech, but it was still safe. I mistimed my tech punish. Because I didn't, I have to guess, I have to guess between four options. Neutral, back, forward, no tech. Those are four options. You can get punished on three techs, but it's hard to punish them. And it's not even guaranteed most of the time, depending on the distance. So, ow. So you saw she, she teched forward. I waited for the tech. I pressed 5C. My 5C overlapped with her recovery after tech. She could not block. The dummy is set for all guard. There are two frames when you tech, you cannot block. So when you tech and you recover, there are two frames you cannot block. If there's a normal on top of you during those frames, it's most likely you're getting comboed like you saw earlier. So again, too far, too far, too far. I got the punish, because I dashed for it. In what situations should you not air tech? Like, when is it really bad to air tech? I think there's an issue every right now. Okay, I'll explain that in a second. Yes, you can punish techs. You can punish every tech. Except no tech. No tech is like... God damn it. That's no tech. If you decide to no tech, you will not get punished. You will not get put into a new combo. But... 
If a character has ability to OTG you, they can do that. So I'll show that right now. You can be OTG'd. You just, you know. You don't eat like a new combo's worth of damage. You're still in a state of, unless they have some way to pick you back up, to like re-combo you, you're not eating a full combo's, a normal combo's uh, worth of damage. So even though I did 2,000 damage, even though I did 2,000 damage, I had to spend 100 meter to do that. Like I have to spend 100 meter to do that to get 2,000 damage, which is like, it varies. Like in that situation, maybe I want you in the corner. Maybe I think I can kill you. Maybe it's worth it to put you at a lower life threshold. But normally you would OTG someone to push them closer to the corner. Like in the case I just did here. I was asking about um, attacking in the air. Let me see. I have to turn off counter hit, right? I mean, I don't have to turn off counter hit. Enemy settings, neutral. Oh no, because you're set to block all. See, she can tech there. Wow. So normally when you tech in the air like that, you have to remember that you teched. Ah, uh, hold on. I need this fucking thing to pause. So when you tech in the air like this, you have to remember that the only things you can do are whatever air options you have left. So if you double jumped and air dashed, if you jumped once, jumped again, and you air dash, you have no other air options when you tech. So sometimes when you tech, you're just like, oh shit, I'm just gonna fall straight down. And sometimes that does get you killed because you're because people are just waiting for you to land and it can meet you. You gotta look at VODs to see what the RPS against certain characters. It's teching in this game is very involved because like the, the times that it happens in a match, it's usually like once a match where someone does tech and they either get away scot-free or they get punished. Like my game plan usually is like I will Well, I'm not playing I'm not playing F. If I'm playing F Akia and I OTG you in the corner, I'm waiting for you to tech. If you tech my OTG string, I will punish you. So this is another way to show that. But yeah. So when you tech here, usually you wanna like not press buttons because you have some sort of I forget how long before you can act. There's, there's a small amount of time before you can act again, and normally people are overlapping buttons on top of you, so you act slower after your tech. Like, you can't immediately be hit when you tech, but after you, like, after you recover out of it, you are vulnerable again. So the other thing I wanted to show would be... This is a good example of how I play this character. So whenever I knock somebody down in the corner, why are you set to press 5B? Offense, all guard, nothing, defense, defense, combo, down recovery, random. I want I, I want to guess, like I'm playing a real match, right? So it's like, let's say I'm F Akia and I've somehow, I got a combo, and I'm going to OTG you. Normally when I do that OTG, I'm trying to see if you're going to respect the fact that I can punish the tech. I missed the tech there. Because normally, when I press 5B, I'm supposed to wait and then press 5B again. So I'll show it again. So if I if I time it right, at worst, what happens to me is I don't get to punish your tech, but I keep my turn. Like if 5B meaties you, you block, I can, keep, I can play again. I do whatever I want. Actually, the worst thing is that I miss the tech with some other move and I die, but that's that almost never happens. Like... In this situation, see, she decided to tech. She set the all guard after a combo. She tried to tech and block. You can't block. So you're teching because you want out of the corner, right? Because you're just like, this character's pressing me. I want out the corner or I want to fucking swing again. What about air teching against teammate during her air combos? I saw it. Uh, helicopter do or I throw out the 22D in the middle of the air combo. How do you deal with those? You don't tech. The way you deal with those is if you know that they're waiting for you to tech for air throw, you don't tech. So that way the air throw you, you're not reset into a combo. Their combo is over. Well, he may can choose to do EX pillar, but that's a different thing. 
Normally characters who try to do air combo let you tech and then air throw you, they're waiting to get a new combo from the air throw. The way you combat that, if you know it's gonna happen, you don't press any buttons. You hit the ground, you hit the ground and you tech from there depending on how close they are to you. So like... Like that. Like, I'm trying to get a combo off of that, right? How do you combat that? Air recovery. Off. So, like, you're not teching. So that's what happens. What will happen is they'll get an invalid combo because you didn't press buttons to tech, but you don't eat a new combo. I wish... Yeah, there's nothing in this game that tells you... When you do that, you can be punished. However, when you do that, you can create space like that. It lets you move quicker. Like, uh, I assume most people in here has played Blaze Blue, right? So everyone in Bla everyone who's played Blaze Blue knows that you can roll forward, you can just pop up, you can roll back, you can do no tech, right? That's what this game had. You didn't play me since 2018. Oh, uh, okay, okay. I thought you've been playing for a while. My bad. Sorry. Had you at least not accidentally ground tech? You don't press anything. So, the way you ground tech is by hitting back, forward, up. So like, as you hit the ground, you'll bounce. So that's me tapping up. That's me tapping back. Nothing. So if you know you're in a position where you can tech, it's usually a counter hit. So one, one good way to know is you just fucking... I can't get counter hit anymore. You don't, as soon as you see yourself free fall like that, press nothing. Don't, don't hold forward on your stick, don't hold up, don't hold back. Like you'll accidentally tap back and then you'll tech backwards and you might get tech punished. Whereas if you tap nothing, you'll just fall straight to the ground and get up normally. Is there a negative edge to DP heat OS? You can't do it through DP, but you can do it through holding down back. So like in the, in the first video I made Reese like, Two weeks ago, three weeks ago, I talked about doing this during pressure when you're getting thrown. I will not be making a new video on that. All I will tell you is go to my YouTube channel and find that video where I talk about techs and heats. So I'm gonna do this. <laughs> 